Hello everyone. If you have just reinstalled Windows on your older PC or laptop and found that some of your device drivers are missing, like the ones I'm having here right now, don't worry. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the various ways to get your device drivers installed on your PC. So first, let's open the device manager. If you are on Windows 8, 10 or 11, right-click the Start Menu button and then click Device Manager. If you are on Windows 7, click the Start Menu button and then right-click Computer. On the Computer Context menu, click Properties. This will open the Computer Properties. On the Computer Properties window, click Device Manager on the left pane. Once the Device Manager is opened, it will automatically expand the device group with missing drivers as shown here. Now the first and the easiest way to get your device driver installed is by telling Windows to search your computer and the internet for the best available driver. To do that, right-click the device with missing driver and then click Update Driver. On the Update Drivers dialog, click Search Automatically for Drivers. If Windows finds a matching driver, it will automatically download and install it for you. If this method fails, try the second method, which is manually downloading the driver from the device manufacturer's website. If you are setting up a laptop like me, go to the laptop manufacturer's website. But if you are setting up a desktop, you may go to the device manufacturer's website for the driver. For example, if you're trying to install the driver for an NVIDIA graphics device, you will have to go to NVIDIA's website. And if you think the device is built in the motherboard, you will have to go to the motherboard manufacturer's website. If your device manufacturer no longer provides driver downloads for your device on their website, like in my case of this Asus Laptop X441U, we will have to use the next methods. The third method is by searching for updated drivers on Windows Update. So open Windows Update and then click Check for Updates. If Windows finds an updated driver for your device on Windows Update, it will automatically download it for you. If all these methods fail, we will have to use the last method, which is using the hardware ID to search for a best match driver on driveridentifier.com. To do that, right-click the device with missing driver and then click Properties. On the Device Properties window, click the Details tab. And then under Property, select Hardware IDs. This will show the hardware IDs of your device. Select the first ID without revision number and then right-click and then copy. Now open your web browser and go to google.com. On the Google search box, type in driver identifier and then paste the hardware ID you just copied from the device properties. Then press enter to start the search. Open the first search result from driveridentifier.com and you should see the detailed information about your device, just like those on device properties window. Scroll down the page to see the list of all device drivers that may be suitable for your device. To choose the most suitable driver for your device, follow the instructions provided on top of the driver list. In short, as long as your device uses the same chip or a chip from the same manufacturer as those have listed here, it's likely that the driver listed here will be compatible with your device. If your laptop or device manufacturer is on the list, choose the driver from that manufacturer. Otherwise, you may choose the one you think is the most likely to be compatible with. For my Asus X441U laptop, I'm going to choose the driver from HP. Once you decide the suitable driver for your device, click Download on the rightmost column. On the next page, scroll down and look for this Download button. Yes, make sure you find this Download button and then click to continue. On the next page, if your download does not start automatically, click one of the links provided. Here I'm gonna click the first link. And if you fail to download from the first one, try the second link. Once the driver file is successfully downloaded, depending on its file type, it may be automatically installed. But if the file is an installer, like the one I just downloaded, you will have to install it manually. So, I look for the driver file and double click it to start the installation. Follow the driver installation wizard to install your device driver.
Once the driver is successfully installed, go back to the device manager. If the driver matches your device, that device, and perhaps other devices that use the same driver too, will no longer have a warning sign icon on their device icons. As you can see here, other devices group, which previously consisted of devices with missing drivers, is no longer listed on my device manager. Alright, so that's how we can install a missing device driver on Windows, and I hope you find this tutorial useful. So thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.